What's going on, baseball fans? How are we doing? So the Seattle Mariners are a half game out of the American League wild card. Let's go talk about it. Okay, here we go. Take a look at the Seattle Mariners. 88 and 70 on the year. They're a half game behind my slumping Red Sox. The Mariners are red hot lately. They're 9 and 1 in their last 10. They've won three straight games. Go take a look here at the schedule. If we go back to that Red Sox series where they lost two out of three, they've won every series since then. They won two out of three against the Royals. They swept the A's in a four game series. They won two out of three against the Angels, and they've won the first two games against the A's. So, how are they? getting this all done let's start with the offense a lot of these guys are stepping up for them in the month of september they ranked 12th in offense and like i said a lot of these guys are stepping up jp crawford hitting 315 this month with a 370 on base playing some good defense as well mitch hanniger i said he was going to be a key player for the mariners in the month of september if they wanted any kind of a chance and he has done exactly that hitting 260 this month with a 336 on base a 560 slugging nine home runs 22 rbis that's awesome jared kelnick he's dunk when he first came up earlier on in the season but he has been great this month you know not a very high average not a great on base but he's got a 538 slugging seven home runs 16 rbis stealing a few bases there as well jared kalnick getting it done ty france how about him well, he's got a 400 on base this month a 290 average this guy's having a very underrated season a lot of these guys are stepping up for them and it's not that they're just stepping up. They're stepping up in key moments as well. If we go take a look at how the Mariners are doing in the month of September with runners in scoring position in high leverage situations from the sixth inning on, they rank six in Major League Baseball this month with a one uh, 148 WRC plus the Mariners have been the most clutch team all season and they continue to be clutch this month. I mean, you can't ask for much more from the Seattle Mariners right now. They're getting it done, but they're getting it done in key moments. So now let's go take a look at how the starting pitching has been doing. So for the starting pitching, the Seattle Mariners, they're not going to have the most amazing flashy numbers, but what I like about the Mariners starting pitching this month is that they're just getting it done. If you take a look at the ERA, it's a 4.68, you know, not great, a 4.48 FIP. I mean, it's okay. I mean, but an XFIP in the fives, that's not all that great. But take a look here. They're nine and four in the month of September. So they're doing enough to keep this team in games if we go take a look at how these guys are doing i think what the key has been is that they're just making their starts and they're logging their innings and they're giving an offense a chance to just score some runs and they're keeping them close so Besides, if you see Kikuchi, who it's looking like he's not going to make any more starts this year, uh, had his turn skipped yesterday, and it's looking like he's not going to make any more starts. But if you take a look at, uh, at the other guys, Logan Gilbert, uh, Chris Flexen, Tyler Anderson, Marco Gonzalez, these guys are logging innings. They're making all of their starts. There's no funny business when it comes to the starting pitching. I mean, sure, Tyler Anderson's ERA is not looking all that great, but the FIP is better at least. But you got to love what Logan Gilbert's doing this month. He's been awesome. Chris Flexen, he continues to just pitch very solid out of this rotation. That's what I like about this Mariners team, or their starting pitching, is it's not flashy, it's not amazing, but they're making their starts, and they're giving their team a chance to win some games. So now, let's go talk about the bullpen. While the offense has been clutched this year, and while the starting pitching has been doing enough to keep them in games, the key for the Mariners this year has been that awesome bullpen. If we take a look here, in the month of September, they have a 3.91 ERA, a 3.92 FIP, good amount of strikeouts per nine, nine and a half strikeouts per nine. They're eight and four out of that bullpen. They have 11 saves this month, but... All year, the Seattle Mariners bullpen has just been awesome. They ranked fourth in Major League Baseball this year. They're just doing a heck of a job out of that bullpen. If we go take a look at some of these guys for this month, Casey Sadler has been fantastic this month. Over 12 games, hasn't given up a run. Diego Castillo, they picked him up. Uh, with the with that trade with the Rays before the deadline he has been fantastic this month over 12 games a 1.64 ERA and a 2.61 FIP essentially took the place of a Kendall Graveman and in the process they picked up Abraham Toro I mean this trade is working out rather well for the Seattle Mariners look at Joe Smith he's been solid Stecken Ryder five saves this month he's been awesome now a lot of these guys are just stepping up for the Mariners this month in the bullpen but take a look here at Paul Seawald not a great month from him overall he has been a little better as of late I mean if you take a look here at the game log earlier on in September he was having a couple bumpy outings he had three straight outings there 
where he gave up we gave up two here then he gave up one there and then he gave up two more but he's been a lot better since then he had one start or one appearance there on September 23rd gave up a run but he's been really good in his last three appearances Paul Seawald uh, if he if he has gotten himself together that's only going to help this bullpen it's fantastic that's been huge for the Mariners but for the Mariners, I think the big key, while we're looking at all these you know, numbers with the, the offense and the starting pitching in the bullpen, they're doing, they're performing well when it really matters. Kind of like how the offense has been clutched this year. But when they're going up against division rivals, Oakland, they're 14 and four this year against Oakland. That is crazy. 13 and six against Texas. Sure, a losing record against Houston, but Houston's a really good team. You know, the fact that they've gotten eight wins off of Houston, that's really good if you ask me. Uh, and for the Angels, if we take a look at them, uh, they are 10 and six against the Angels. And that is going to be huge for the Seattle Mariners. If they can stay within this range after tonight's game, Seattle, their last series is against the Angels at home. This Seattle Mariners team absolutely has a shot at the playoffs here. I think with the, the way my Red Sox are playing lately, they're not getting it done losing to the Orioles last night. I mean, come on, what are the Red Sox doing? They got to turn it around. But for Seattle, if the Red Sox can't turn this around, Seattle they're doing everything they need to do to win these games. And right now, in my opinion, I feel like Seattle deserves this wild card. The fact that they have hung around this long, they're doing what they got to do. They have enough starting pitching. They're, they're very clutch uh, with the offense. And the bullpen has just been fantastic this year. Seattle, they're playing their best baseball when it matters most. I mean, what else can you ask for with Seattle? But tell me what you think down below in the comments. Do you think Seattle can actually pull this off and get that second wild card? I mean, this is going to be pretty close if you ask me. Uh, but let me know what you think. Do you think they're going to get this done? Do you think they'll be the second wild card? Let me know. But that's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.